Hey guys, we're here at Lake Ray Roberts Bass Masters Classic 2021. These guys are getting ready to weigh in their day one stringer. We're gonna show you behind the scenes of everything that's going on at the Bass Masters Classic. And hey, there's nothing better to see than this show right here. These guys absolutely caught them and caught big ones at that. I hope y'all really enjoyed this show. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Welcome to Let's Fish TV. I'm your guest host, Andrew Upshaw, and I'm bringing you an inside look, a behind-the-scenes look, of the biggest tournament in bass fishing, the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bass Master Classic here in Fort Worth, Texas. You know, one thing about Texas is they grow big bass and they're definitely gonna catch them this week at the Bass Master Classic. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these guys catch them and you're gonna get to see behind the scenes on a, on a, a view that you've never seen before. We'll also have this week's fishing reports from your local region from our insider reporters. But I'm telling you guys, if you've never been to Academy Sports and Outdoors Bass Master Classic, you definitely need to. But I'm going to give you a look that you might not have ever seen. And in the meantime, I'm going to toss it back to the studio for your weekend planner. Hello, these Salooner tables are predicting good game fish activity on Saturday and fair activity on Sunday. Peak times begin at 2.50 on Saturday and 3.45 Sunday afternoon. The best time to fish in the dark will begin at 2.25 on Saturday and 3.20 early Sunday morning. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 621 and set at 839. Evenings will feature a moon that is 93% visible. Stay with us, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, Bassmaster Elite Angler Mark Menendez stops by to answer your Ask the Pro question. Back in just a bit. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Power Pole. Total Boat Control. Visit Mississippi. Good times are close by. Low Boats. 50 years of boating craftsmanship. Balls Out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. I couldn't think of anybody better than the 2020 Classic Champion Hank Cherry to interview and talk about his classic experience. Guys, we're here at the 2021 Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic here in Fort Worth, and I couldn't think of anybody better than the 2020 Classic Champion Hank Cherry to interview and talk about his classic experience. Hank has qualified for the Bassmaster Classic six times in his eight year career. The dude absolutely can smoke them, and I can tell you one thing, guys, he caught them today. He caught them pretty good. I'm expecting big things from Hank Cherry. Maybe we see our back-to-back -back champion. Begging. Let's go! Brother Grace, that's for you, sweetheart. Boom! Hank, can you tell us a little bit about your day? Uh, they started off pretty hot, and then it, the wind got up, and it got all that sediment and everything floating around, and uh, my areas kind of got blown out, and I didn't try to go in and pressure them. And I just kind of picked around the whole day and I caught one here, caught one there. I went lots of time without catching one. I know where they're at. I know how to catch them, but you can't change the conditions because you're not the good Lord. So I just got to wait and be patient. And that's what I did. And I finally uh, snatched a good one out of a bush this afternoon that jumped my weight up. And tomorrow's the same thing. It's a different day every day. Ray Roberts, you're not going to get a lot of bites, but you will get some opportunities of good fish, but you got to get them in. That's the whole game here. When the, the conditions that these guys are dealing with, what he's talking about is this lake is up four foot higher than normal pool. So this lake has a ton of flooded cover, willow trees, bushes, picnic tables. I mean, it's the gamut out there. And these guys are faced with some of the toughest conditions on top of the fact that it's the Bassmasters Classic. I fished one Bassmasters Classic, fortunately enough, and I can tell you guys, there's nothing more strenuous than trying to fish them and catch them in the Bassmaster Classic. And he's obviously done it. You finished second in your first classic. I finished third in third, my first Third, third, yep. third in your first classic. And won last year's classic. 
I, you know, if I had a, a horse to bet on in this race, I'm going to say Hank Cherry's going to have a pretty good tournament. He's one of those guys that's a grinder. He understands how to fish. Behind the scenes, though, these guys, he's already he was putting up his rods when I walked up to him. He's nonstop, constant contact, media and everything. I don't, I bet he doesn't even get six hours of sleep. Hank, go get after it today, or tomorrow. Hopefully you make Sunday, and I want to see you hosting that tro trophy on the final day. That's the Two game in a row. Plan. That's the game plan. All right. Well, the weather's hot in the coastal south, but so is the fishing, both inshore and offshore. I'll be right back with more, but first this from our good friends at Foreshore Transportation. This part of the program is brought to you by Foreshore Transportation, the simple solution to all your freight hauling needs. Foreshore can ship freight across the country or across the state. Whatever the load, wherever the destination, Foreshore gets it done fast, safe, and hassle-free. Flounder fishing in southeast Georgia off St. Simons Island has been outstanding according to my good friend Captain Tim Cutting. Uh, he's catching these one to three pound fish using bottom bump and jigs tipped with uh, uh, gulp or uh, fish bites. He's working these jigs around uh, creek mouths, docks, uh, brush along the uh, shoreline areas and real thick cover. Uh, triple tail fishing has been uh, very good in southeast Georgia for anglers going along the coast, uh, uh, sight fishing for them near the beaches. They're also around buoys and channel markers. Uh, these fish are going to go from 5 to 10 or 12 pounds. Some bigger fish will be caught later on during the summer. Uh, spotted sea trout fishing has been on fire in Mobile Bay and also in Mississippi along the barrier islands. Uh, the fish there are being caught uh, early in the mornings with topwater plugs and jigs as the sun gets up. A lot of these trout are going two to four pounds. The fishing is just great. Probably the best trout fishing of the year is going on right now in uh, the Mobile Bay shallows and also along the island areas of uh, Mississippi. Well, that's it for the coastal south. Get out in the water and take a youngster with you when you go. You know, one thing about the Bassmaster Classic that makes it so unique is it's probably one of the world's largest bass fishing trade shows that you can ever go to. The one thing that I love about the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic is the fan interaction. You're gonna see pros from every trail in bass fishing all come together to this show to meet with the fans. You know, the one thing as a kid, whenever I was bass fishing, I didn't think that you could actually meet guys like Kevin Van Dam. You know, we got Kevin in the booth today, here at the Strike King booth. You can actually go take photos with him. We've got all kinds of great people. But hey, real quick, I'm gonna go show you a couple of the new products here at Strike King, here at the booth. So one of the most important baits that we have is a new 6XD. The new 6XD is a hard knock. The 6XD hasn't been touched in it's years. A bad unit. Bad, guys, bad. You heard it from the man himself. The 6XD hasn't had a new model in years, okay? But the new 6XD is a hard knock, so it's going to give you the ability to change that sound and get more bites. But the other thing is, it's not even just about pros anymore. Y'all are also watching YouTube anglers. If you watch me, you watch me on YouTube. But another one is a guy right over here. Let's go check him out real fast. But, you know, his name is Noah Pescatelli. Noah Pescatelli is from Kicking Their Bass TV. He is probably one of the most popular YouTube bass fishermen that there is, and he doesn't fish professionally. But you can come meet your media personalities from Mark Zona, Noah Pescatelli with Kicking Their Bass, and Kevin Van Dam. You can meet them all here at the Bassmaster Classic, and that's what makes the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic so special. They run them through the uh arena here for the weigh-in and then we get them on these hatchery trailers and same deal here pure oxygen ice all right guys today i'm here with todd driscoll Part of the Texas Parks and Wildlife, and we're going to talk a little bit about the behind the scenes fish care that they are doing here at the Bassmasters Classic. It's something I've never heard of doing in a tournament. I think it's probably one of the coolest things about it. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, and, and all the credit goes to BASS. They, they came to us with the plan. Uh, instead of bringing all five fish back per day, 
uh, they actually weigh all five at the lake. That's the official weight. Then they bring just two of the five back to the weigh-in for the crowd and, and all that's related with the uh, arena and expo here. So we're essentially reducing the numbers of fish that are transported back here to the arena by 60%. Yeah, mortality rate in the summertime, that is something that you definitely have to deal with. I don't care what lake it is, if the water's really hot, the mortality rate increases. So what you are doing essentially is removing that dramatically as far as the fish care. You know, we talked about it early, Lake Ray Roberts doesn't have just a plethora of fish. So you need to really help sustain that population, especially of the really big ones that has in that lake. Yeah. So I mean, that is really awesome. And y'all put them in these giant tanks export and, and, and take them all the way back to Ray Roberts, correct? Yeah, now that once the boats get to the uh, service yard to stage for the weigh-in, we get pure oxygen injection on them immediately. We check live well temps. We ice them down appropriately to get the water temp five to 10 degrees cooler. They run them through the uh, arena here for the weigh-in and then we get them on these hatchery trailers and same deal here, pure oxygen, ice, five to 10 degrees cooler right back to Ray Roberts and back on the BASS live release boat. That's awesome, and they get caught again, and that's what it all is about. Whenever you talk about catch and release, we're releasing these fish, having a higher mortality, or a lower mortality rate, and having more catches in the future. Man, I can't give y'all enough credit, Texas Parks and Wildlife, definitely taking it on. Bass is included, BASS definitely has really stepped up their, their game as far as fish care, and that is essential for a longevity of this sport. Time for Carolina's report. This week brought to you by Crazy System Marina in Merle's Inlet. We are open for business, can take care of all your needs on the water. Visit crazysystemmarina.com and check out our awesome website to find out all the information and answer any questions you might have. Let's talk freshwater. Let's go down to Georgia. Our good buddies at Lake Lanier are giving us some great reports down there, in particular on the bass. You know, it's that time of the year, the water's starting to warm up. I think right now that they're 1.7 foot below full pool, but we've got some great action down there. Early in the morning, you can find some top water action, but a lot of great action on top of those 15 to 30 foot deep brush piles. Get out with a Zara spook, anything to walk the top of the water. Also, make sure you drop shot on those same piles later in the day you can have some good success down on Lake Lanier. Let's move up and let's go to South Carolina and Lake Murray. You know, if you're gonna get out and go striper fishing this time of the year on most of our lakes here in South Carolina, it's a great idea to have a boat paddle or a thumper with you. Get that action going on that bottom of the boat. Get those stripers thinking that they're back in that hatchery and you can bring the school to the boat. It's amazing to watch our good buddy, Captain Tommy Bennett and see exactly how he gets those fish up to the boat. But the action is there. Remember, five fish, you're done for the day, but there's still some great action on Lake Murray right now. This has been your Carolina's Report. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lou's Feel the Difference. Waypoint Customs, customize your boat your way. Strike King, tie one on. Place your glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. And I couldn't think of somebody any better than Matt Heron. Last time he was here, 2016, won the Texas Toyota Bass Classic. All right guys, today I'm here at the Bassmaster Classic here at Lake Ray Roberts, and I couldn't think of somebody any better than Matt Heron. Last time he was here, 2016 won the Texas Toyota Bass Classic, and now we're at the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic. Definitely was a pick of mine for the win here, and I know the fishing was a little tough. The wind got super high today, which is kind of unusual for this time of year. Matt, can you tell us a little bit about your day? How, how'd things go today? Yeah, I had a very, very, very slow day. It, uh, everything's revolving around what little bit of a shad spawn there is right now. And uh, the area that I decided to start in this morning it was a shad spawn deal. And it just wasn't happening. And, and it was over with so quick with the bright skies and the wind getting up that if you missed that little hour, hour and a half window this morning, it was a very long, grueling day. 
Yeah, no doubt. And you know that what he's talking about when he referencing the shad spawn, the shad spawn is something where the shad pull up in this shallow cover and they start spawning around all these bushes and stuff. And that is exactly what he was trying to target. As soon as it gets bright outside, that shad spawn really gets hard to do. Uh, but on those cloudy days, and we didn't have a cloudy day today, it really prolongs that. So you're really centering around that shad spawn first thing in the morning. And, and uh, what are you doing as you transition from the shad spawn? I've just been flipping bushes. That's and, what and, I and, thought you'd and, be doing. And trying to flip deep timber. It, yeah. uh, there's a few on it, but they're so random with the water four foot high. You know, when I won the Texas Back Classic here, those fish, when they're coming out of those spawning pockets and areas, that's exactly what happened when I won. But the water was a little lower, and when they transitioned off what little bit of brush and shallow cover they had, they went to the salt cedars mm -hmm. and the hardwood in the drains. Oh, wow. And uh, that's eventually what they're going to do here again. But it just, for whatever reason, with this water being so high, they've got so much available cover, they've just not made that transition. It's really weird. Everything's behind, and it's really, you know, if you get around them, I had a couple of days in practice where I got around them, and it was really easy to catch 20 pounds. Yeah. And then, but if you miss it, it is a long, grueling day is what happened to me, so. Well, and even, and even on days where you might miss it, and maybe he had a bad day out there on the water, he can definitely catch up here at Lake Ray Roberts. It has a lot of really big fish in it, and it's been proven time and time again, it's got giant bass. So I'm expecting big things from Matt. I don't care how he did today. It's a three-day tournament, and I know he's gonna come out swinging tomorrow. Hey guys, this week's Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama report is brought to you by Experience Paris. Uh, Paris, Tennessee, Paris Landing, Henry County is such a special place. There's always somewhere great to eat that's got live music and downtown shopping. It's a great place to take your family and just have a great trip that you'll never forget. Check out Experience Paris, Tennessee. Hey, also, let's check out some places in your region right now that the fish are biting. And let's go to Mississippi and let's start at Bay Springs Lake. This time of year, when you go there, Put in right before dark and go night fishing. But you can go there and catch big spots. It's one of the best big spot places in that part of the world. Y'all drag a worm around, go drag a jig around, go throw a spinner bait, uh, just dark colored stuff. Uh, in Tennessee, let's stay with the theme of night fishing and let's go to Dale Hollow. Incredible lake, full of grass. From mid lake down, if you can keep a swim bait or spinner bait right on the top of that grass, right on the edge of that grass, you're liable to catch the biggest smallmouth of your life. And then in Alabama, we're going to go night fishing again and let's go to Smith Lake because there's no better place in Alabama, in my opinion, to catch a bass after dark. Lower in, fish docks, throw topwater, throw spinner baits, throw swim baits, go have a ball. Just get out here, get, get in on it with us. We'll see you then. God bless you. All right, guys, here we are behind the scenes of the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic. And this is probably one of the most grueling parts as a professional angler that you're having to wait for, and that's the weigh in. If you look here at Brandon Polinick, He's waiting to weigh in his fish. I remember sitting in his exact same shoes, waiting to go weigh up my fish in the 2012 Bassmasters Classic. Now, Brandon's been to quite a few of them at this point, so he's not probably as nervous as I was, but guys, there's nothing that can even explain the nervousness of that curtain behind me opening up and letting me go through. It was chilling, it was like mind numbing. When I went through, the cheers started and I could see everybody and there was smoke clearing. Probably one of the coolest experiences of the Bassmaster Classic and that's not one that everybody always gets to see. So basically what they do is they bring all these boats and trucks into the line, they take them around the arena, let you off, you go way in and then they bring you back out and then drop your fish in the fish care location. This way, a, the fish always have variation, and B, the anglers can stay with their fish at all times in their boat. It is a really smart process that Bassmaster has in place for this situation, but guys, what Brandon's about to experience right now is absolutely amazing. He's gonna go out there on the stage and get to talk about his day, whether good or bad. And guys, it's all, we leave it out there on the water. I know you do too. If you're a tournament bass fisherman, you've done the exact same thing. I don't care if it's the Bass Club or the Bass Masters Classic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Getting ready to weigh in a big five fish stringer and showing everybody what you did today. Guys, there's nothing that beats this. 
Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury. Go boldly. Lowrance, America's number one fish finder. Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Get our free fishing guide at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor. The tour is back. Blazer, high performance boats for high performance anglers. Welcome back everybody. Let's get right to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Larry wants to know, how did you catch the biggest fish you have ever caught? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler, Mark Menendez. I caught the biggest bass in the first 31 years of Bassmaster competition. That's my personal best, a 13 pound, nine ounce bass at Richland Chambers during the Mega Bucks tournament. It was day two, cold overcast day, perfect day for a spinnerbait. I wind a big half ounce spinnerbait beside a tree in about 14 feet of water on a channel swing. Fish eats it and gets it, gets it to the side of the boat and I couldn't hardly stop it. Got it to surface behind the boat about 20 feet, reeled it about four times, reached down there, my partner reached down there and got it, picked it up and it just kept coming, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Threw it in the live well and instantly knew I had something special. But the most notable thing about that was the guy's name that landed that fish for me. Bass word, this is the truth, the guy's name was Noble Handy and he did a noble job for me that day, and the rest is Bassmaster history. Thank you, Mark. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit a question. Now it's time to find out who wins this week's Big Catch of the Week. This week's winner for the Big Catch of the Week contest is Clint Lindsay of Jackson, Tennessee, showing his six pound largemouth bass he caught at Beach Lake, Tennessee. To enter the contest, go to letsfishtv.com and click on the Big Catch box on the home page and follow the instructions. Or post your photo on last Tuesday's Big Catch post on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash letsfishtv. You could have your big fish shown here on our show. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. This week on Academy Right Stuff, I'm gonna bring you one of the brand new products here from Lou's. This is the new Signature Series Rod lineup. It's gonna feature four of our top level pros, Mark Rose, Andy Montgomery, Greg Hackney, and the one and only Kevin Van Dam. They're all gonna bring some of their very favorite actions of some of their very best techniques. In this particular situation, I'm holding one of my favorite rods out of the lineup, and it's the new Skipping Rod. Skipping is one of those techniques where you take your bait and you skip it under cover, whether it's overhangs or docks. And that is what this rod line has really been needing. We have jig rods, we have frog rods, flipping rods, cranking rods, spinner bait, chatter bait, every kind of bait that you could ask for is gonna be in this new Signature Series lineup. They're gonna range in price from like 179 to 189. But a couple of things about this rod that make it really unique. It has a shorter handle, so for people who you don't like that long handle hitting them in their stomach or whenever they're fishing. They're gonna have more accurate casts because then they can roll cast their bait around. The other thing is it's extremely light and has a split grip, wind dry tack handle. This is gonna fit, it's a little bit skinnier than most handles, so it's gonna fit your hand extremely well. Overall, this is gonna be one of those rods that you're gonna see me fish with nine times out of 10 because it's gonna hit every action that I need. I hope y'all enjoyed this week's episode of the behind the scenes of the Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmasters Classic here in Fort Worth. Guys, this is a crazy behind the scenes. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll see y'all in the water.